Okay, so I haven't done a fur babies showing. And since I miss my babies so much, I just wanted to show them off to you guys. For those of you guys who are new to my channel, one of the things that's a big part of my life are definitely animals. I love dogs. Dogs just make like better children. And you know what else? They make better friends. Because they are loyal, they are caring, they will never forsake or betray you. And the cherry on top is if you have a bitch for a dog, that bitch don't talk back. So let me tell you a little bit about the history of Jermaine and dogs. I have my first dog, um, well it wasn't really my dog, she was more obsessed with my mom. Anyways, I was like 14, 15 and my dad like surprised everybody at home with a Bichon phrase. And I thought, is that a sheep? Had a diet of Filipino food. Most of the Filipino food that I eat, you know, usually travels down to my ass. But she filled out real good. She was like a nice, mean, solid sausage. The second dog I owned, I actually owned with an ex boyfriend of mine that I had throughout high school. It was this cute little black Jug Russell, and she was just a very annoying little fucker. She has so much energy. It's like she had like cocaine and rats stuck up her butt. This is Lily. She's a little Jack Russell mixed with. Chihuahua. She was in a cute little Walmart cart and we just snatched her up like some dog predator. She's so cute, but she's really hyper. And she had all the energy in the world. Oh, that dog literally drove me to shoot him because he did not want anything to do with her bad behavior. So I sent her to puppy school. My name is Lily. You're not a bad little dude. And just like a good mommy, you know, I was there every step of the way, and she even graduated. Just graduated from puppy school, yay! Give him a high five with your little pull. So by the time I moved out of my parents' house, um, I moved into downtown LA, and we had to fight over who was gonna get the dog. <clears throat> if you want that dog alive, you keep it. I will be moving out pretty soon, but she won't be coming with me because you don't allow her. <gasps> on tail. Okay, so I got my first official dog given to me by my cousin who had a leader of Multipoos. Benji! I got a new dog! Yay! Said, oh, oh, what are you doing? know what kind of dog he was because the doctor lied and said I don't know what he is why is he pink lady he is albino huh? what do you want to say One, two, three, uh, oh! I hate when he licks me because like the stench of his breath lingers on my cheeks. Benji's actually like a very sensitive, alert dog. Benji's one of those dogs where when he's outside, he'll act like a tough mofo, like Rawr! But really and truthfully, he's really scared out of his mind. have seen my two little dogs they actually don't live with me they're actually living with my boyfriend's sister up in Idaho because I can't keep that many dogs in my apartment are you ready kids yay yay all right all right make room for mommy make room for mommy make room for mommy I was just looking to have a very peaceful morning until this boy couldn't get a hold of his morning wood. The real chores that I needed to do today. Hey, hey, give me my baby back. So my two little rat dogs, Zoe and Tori, actually live with their aunt up in Idaho. They love it there. They're now officially snow bunnies. And sometimes all of us would take a road trip all the way up to Idaho and surprise the girls. So those are my little dogs. The two big dogs I have are both retrievers. One is a Labrador retriever, the famous. Howie. <laughs> Happy birthday, Howie. Hey, don't you dare get your presents before you get your, no. You blow out your candle, Howie. You, ah, ah, blow your candles out. 
You want me to blow your candle for you? Down. Good boy. got a 14 year old boy's appetite. This dog can eat to his death. So um, I got Howie actually from a Labrador Retriever breeder. Oh, and don't tell me all about you know your anti-breeding opinions and stuff like that. I think I believe that every dog, wherever the dog is, that does not have a home, every dog needs a home. I mean, he was like love at first sight. But when I went to the breeder, um, she brought out Howie and she also brought out some, some hairy Labrador kind. This bitch gonna try to sell me a Labradoodle. Labradors are just like the best dogs ever because they're just so sweet and they're so loyal. They're extremely smart and they're just, they just look like a big polar bear. You always have that one dog where you just are most connected with and that's definitely Howie. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I do favorite him. And um, he's he's actually my youngest dog. Howie's personality, he's just very carefree but he's also kind of like a jerk. Kind of like a guy. I give him all the affection in the world and he ignores me. I'll kiss him on the cheek and he'll burp in my face. And that is the psychology of why girls like assholes. <laughs> so last but not least is my other retriever. She's a golden retriever. Her name is Dakota Marie. She's actually my boyfriend's dog. I've adopted her into the Germain Kennel. My boyfriend and I call her like the red-headed stepchild. She's like the Jan of the Brady Bunch family. Koda has like the strangest, weirdest personality. Like she'll literally stare at herself in the mirror for like 15 minutes going like this. Like, what are you staring at, creep? I mean, I nicknamed her single white female because she just has that vibe. I could be taking a shit on the toilet and she would push the door a little bit open and all I could see is like her eyeballs staring and glaring at me. That is single white female status. But overall, she's a sweet dog. All my dogs are sweet because their mother is an angel. <laughs> so anyways, you guys, that is all my fur babies. And um, tell me what kind of dogs you guys have and all their cute little personalities I love. Uh, so anyways, it's potty break and snack time. Thank you guys so much for watching and to see more my dogs just click on my videos thank you see you love you bye